Ah, the lovely sensation of feeling like you've forgotten something. The jukebox! Oh man, it's time for the jukebox time. Gonna go here, we're gonna just start putting stuff from here. Yeah. Apparently we're missing songs, like songs aren't out yet or something. Ready it up. All done. Feeling better? Fresh air does wonders for you. Well, for a given value of fresh anyway, I insist that it sounds like dynamite. No, it was too long to be dynamite. It sounded more like a heavy duty tool. You're a heavy duty tool. Yes, I am. Wait, that damn it. Oh, welcome back. Who are these guys? I could have sworn this place looked a lot more pink the last time we came. Maybe it's the lighting. Hey, bartender, what did the noise just now sound like to you? I say it sounded like a construction, but Betty here says it's dynamite or something like that. Oh, uh, not you too. Oh, don't you think it's dynamite then? What? No, I said it's, it's, it's backfire. It's a gunshot. Firecrack is... See? Those sounds have been going on all night. We can't figure out what they are. Well, we aren't here to discuss that. We're here to drink. Uh, who is he? Gilly, nice to meet you. I don't know. You have more of a John face. Where was he last weekend? I don't know, and I don't care. He already made amends for leaving me to fend off all these dogs. Anyway, what do you want? Beer. Oh, what the hell. I'll have a beer, too. Two beers coming right up. Two beers. Oh, man. Nice and simple beers. You know, one of these... Two of that, a powdered thing, a fl two flamingo, and four of the croatoans. And all mixed. And we just need one more of these, two of that, one of this, two flamingo, four croatoan. All mixed. Serve it up. Here you go. Thank you. Man, after work, beer is always the, b the best beer. Yep. So tell me, bartender. Just call me Jill. Jill, that's a nice name. How's business lately? As usual. Wait, I guess you don't really know the usual means for us. Uh, we're not the kind to be f uh, filled to the brim during rush hours, and we don't have that many regulars. So it's just the same. Nothing's changed. I guess when we came here with all the dogs, it was quite the change of pace, huh? You have no idea. So what brings you here today? I suggested coming here after work. It's Friday, a drink uh, to kick off the weekend. Just one of those little things that makes me feel like makes life worthwhile. But he did only suggest it after I found him hugging a stuffed corgi in his office. A stuffed corgi. A plushie, not a overfed corgi. I see. Wait, you have an office? Yeah, what's weird about that? I thought you'd have a cubicle or a kennel. A kennel? I mean, you don't hear much about office boys getting their own offices. It's it's not hard considering the rest of the staff don't use chairs or tables. Even I have my own office. I don't know about that. The mess they left in the bathroom usually requires someone with thumbs. Chairs and tables seems like a lesser evil. And you're the veterinarian after all. A kennel? What about a kennel? I don't know. I just thought that it'd be cute if one day I went to work and they they had one waiting for me. Like they saw me as one of them. So, where'd you get that plushie? Oh, I gave it to him. It was my gift for last Mega Christmas. What the hell's Mega Christmas? Wait, so you got defensive over being caught hugging a gift you gave him? That's the funniest part. He acted like I didn't know he had it. I was just glad when he was enjoying it, you know? Why are you two talking like I'm not here? Because you're not giving any input anyway! So, how's the stuff up at the Doglandia? Well, we recently struck a deal with Farmer Fabrics to start a doggy clothing line. Farmer Fabrics? That name rings a bell. Does it? It's that textile company where the owner believes himself to be an alpaca. Oh, yeah, that guy. Yeah, we had her... Oh, I mean... <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Here some time ago, she got drunk and... So much salvia everywhere. He's smoking salvia? Oh. But anyway, dog clothes... We hired a new employee, and she showed a higher up some designs. After a couple of talks, they decided to give the clothing production a try. Those designs were embarrassing, you know. But something tells me that's why they were approved. You guys want anything else? I'll have whatever this guy orders. Let's see. I'll have a Brandatini. Two Brandatinis. 
Brand to Taninis. Brand to da 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 Two of these. Six of this. Two, three, four, five, six. Three of that. And one Kuroa Towin, aged and mixed. A brand of teeny. Another one right here. Two, three, four, five, six. Three of that. And what are it? What are that? Aged and mixed. And serve it. Here you go. You have such a wimpy taste in drink, Steel. Not all of us spent our weekends in a college party and like maniacs. Actually, not all of us went to college. You miss nothing. Sometimes I wish I could go back in time and kick myself. Huh. Something on your mind? That girl's... The girl that's designing the clothes. Laura, what about her? She's cute, but she should take more care in her appearance. I mean, right now she fits the unkempt cutie category so well that it's almost painful. It's so cliche that I can't help but cringe when looking at her. Cringe. It's like when you see something that's such a cheesy movie, cliche. You just feel the need to kick whatever the hell it is. Kick. Betty, I didn't think you'd have to say this. To you, tw <laughs> to you twice in the same month, but you shouldn't kick people. I wasn't going to kick her. Why do you think I'd kick her? Because I've seen you kick people before. Apparently unprovoked or due to complicated reasons only you understand. Fine. Guilty as charged. Still, I'm going to do something about her. I feel like I just need to. It's a matter of honor. Honor, she says. Well, maybe honor isn't the right word. But she has potential, and I'm not going to let her waste it. Jill, I'm going to go check the antenna on the roof. Alright. She's your boss, right? Didn't you meet her before? No, nope, I'm just a veterinarian. The dogs were the ones that organized the meeting with her. I'd say she's really good looking, but honestly, these pants robes of hers and her charm. What do you mean? They make her look so up to, too uptight, and at glance, she doesn't seem like the type. Some shorts or a skirt would fit her better. Huh. Well, she wears a skirt or pants, depending on her mood. There was also this one time where she came in wearing a kilt. That kilt was awesome! Damn it, she has nice hearing. Now that I think about it, you have that hobby of spectating what, what someone's personality is like based just on their looks. I mean, you did the same with Jill here. Amazing! You actually made the sound weird as hell! Yes, I have a habit of trying to guess someone's behavior based on their looks. No, it's not a hobby. You made that sound like I was some sort of creep. I did. What did you think about me? Not that much, really. Mostly that you were too polite. You're not a natural polite, though. More like a professional polite. You like that because you need to be. That was it, really. Although the way you looked at me when I said your boss could use a skirt or shorts was interesting. You seemed interested in what I said. Like you'd like to see her in that scenario. You think it too much. What do you think about Gil, then? Huh. Huh. He's either a total simpleton or acts like one in a way that consumes the rest of his character. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Aw, oh, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just a veterinarian. My judgment might be clouded by seeing so many furry businessmen. Alright, let's have another, another round. Sounds like a good idea. I'll have. You have something strong. You need to pump some testosterone into your taste and your drinks. You'll thank me later, trust me. Then, uh, two strong drinks. Manly drinks. I don't care which ones. Well, you shut up. Two strong drinks and manly. Alright. Um. Let's see. 140. I want to give them expensive drinks. 170. 160. Yeah, we're going to give them the 160. Which is the Mars Blast. The 170. Good. Six Bronson. One, two, three, four, five, six. One Powder Delta. One Phalange. No, four Phalanges. And two Kerminka. All blended. Blend it up. Blend that Kerminka. And let's make another one. So six. Five, six, one, four, four of that, and two of this. 
Mix it up, blend it up, nice and blended. There we go, two of that. Okay, Mars Blast, here you go. Now drink. Oh man, up. You'll get used to it. Hey Jill, has someone ever proposed to you a prank? You know, make you think they're falling in love with you just to reveal that it's all a prank? Jill, first year of high school, the guy I had my eyes on for the whole year had asked me out. Saturday morning, I got I go to the meeting place. What do I find? It was all a prank by some ladies. Ouch. Sorry, I... The worst part isn't what they set me up, but rather that I saw it coming. I knew the guy wouldn't find me attractive enough to ask me out. I knew those ladies would target me sooner or later just for kicks. I knew it all, and when it all happened, I felt nothing. They confirmed my suspicion that teenagers are a plague and must be eradicated. Because I'm apparently a sociopath. Anyway, why the question? Hey, piece of scrap, yeah. Those are the situations where you should have stopped me before I said anything. It's better to learn by tripping yourself. Why the question, though? Uh, I was asked because one of my ex-cousins has been hitting on me in the past couple days. My exes? If it was to somebody else, I'd pretend to be straight with the, with the help of this piece of scrap here. Sadly, she knows who I am. Worst part is, knowing Vero, she probably just, it's probably just her cousin up to it as a practical joke. Well, I'd suggest telling the cousin that she should cut it out already. If she feels genuinely offended, they might not have been in cahoots. But I'm just spouting nonsense based on what you told me. Don't pay too much attention. It's better than my suggestion. What was yours? Waterboarding. I s what? The fact that she knows how to waterboard someone is what scares me most. The Girl Scouts also taught me how to skin a deer, and I see nobody making a fuss about that. But yeah, your advice sounds good enough, especially when you factor that if Gina's being honest about her, then she probably won't feel offended. Gina, which one was that again? Blonde, flat as a cutting board, but cute as a button. Oh yeah, she came to the office Christmas party, right? That's the one. Well, it's getting late, we should be going. Yeah. Thank you again for everything, Jill. Bye. Please come again. I'm back. Those darn cats moving the internet antenna. Oh, yeah, Gil. Some guy said I should tell you that the bunny's late or whatever that means. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, boss, I'm leaving early. If I don't come back in two days, consider me as good as dead. Yeah, okay. Shouldn't we be worried? Think of him as a kid that tells outrageous stories to get attention and everything will be easier. Besides, he knows how to take care of himself. Yeah, I guess. He'll be here on Monday like it's, like nothing ever happened. In any case, I'll be back in my office. Maybe now I can finally finish watching that... Did... What? Did your... Did your... Did, yeah, I don't even know what that says. Tutorial!